Hello and welcome to our Healthcare White Belt program. I'm Herb Robbins and I will be your facilitator for this module on the Introduction to Process Control. As a Master Black Belt and Project Leader, I will tell you that having a team with members who have been exposed to these concepts and tools provides for a competitive edge. The three sections of the White Belt program stand alone very well and when combined provide a powerful trio. After you've completed your White Belt training, I encourage you to join a team or work with your supervisor or manager to help implement these tools in your workplace. You may also visit our website, lean2020.com, to search for additional information and further training opportunities. After all, this is not just about your employer, this is about valuable marketable skills that you will soon possess. Everyone works within a system that will benefit from enhanced process control. Let's learn what this is all about. There are two types of data. We will be working with both types. Attribute data is data that we can put into categories. This type of data is counted. Items such as pass fail and acuity levels are considered attribute data. Anyone that has answered a survey or rated something on a scale of 1 to 5 is using attribute data. Those are five distinct categories. The other data type is variables. This is referred to as continuous data as the possibilities of this measurable data can be infinite. Height and cholesterol levels are two types of variables data. Let's take a short quiz to get a better understanding of this important difference. All right, let's go slow as we answer this question for each item. Pause the video in between if we are going too fast. Blood pressure. Variables data as we measure this. Medication. Attribute data. Different medication will be in different categories. Weight. Well, since we measure weight, this is variables data. Number of slips. We count the number of slips, so this is attribute data. Types of slips. The different types of slips are placed into different categories, so attribute here also. Diagnosis. There are many different types, but this is not a measured item. This is attribute data. Pulse rate is measured. One might argue that pulse rate has a limited number, say between 0 and 200, but we'll soon learn about our measurement systems that affect our measuring capability. If we could more accurately measure the pulse rate and not round to the nearest whole number, you could quickly see how this has an infinite number of possibilities. Counts of pills. Numbers. Either a 1 or a 2 or a 3. So categorical data is attribute data. Height. Similar to weight, this is measured. So variables data. Test results. Positive, negative. These are attribute data if they are pass fail or such. Test results that show blood count, cholesterol levels, etc. would be variables data. Here are all the answers. I hope that you can see the difference. If not, you may want to review these slides. One nice thing about data is we will be able to analyze it. Here are seven quality tools which are reviewed as part of the Yellow Belt program. Using powerful software such as Minitab, Data and information can quickly be transformed into pictures. We can present this format for process control and enhancement activities. Although these seven quality tools are reviewed at a higher level belt training, I want to briefly look at two of these as we discuss variation and why things are not always the same. Driving to a nearby city does not always take exactly the same amount of time. Different things cause variation in this process. We encounter the same variation in our medical facilities. In order to analyze the variation in our systems, we will need to accurately measure things. Here are the last 50 trips to the city. There's certainly variation. We made these trips during different days of the week and times of the day. This is one way to view the data and look for variation. If we were to rotate the graph and shake the points so that they fell to the bottom, we'd have a dot plot in the beginnings of a histogram. Let's take a look. Most things in nature will follow what is called the normal distribution. That distribution is represented by the blue line. An example would be the height of adults. The highest number is in the middle and then fewer exist as heights get shorter or taller on either end. We'll talk a lot about this normal distribution in other modules. There are two basic components of variation, the measurement and the process. The 5Ms and 1E help us identify different process inputs that each cause variation. 
We break away the measurement system and leave the others under process to better understand our systems. The most important takeaway from this module will be to understand that how we measure our process is critical. The data that we interpret has variation from the process and also from by the method we collect it. By analyzing the sources of variation, we will be able to identify the causes of variation and work to reduce them. A word of caution, before you go off and fix your process, make certain your measurement system is not your problem. Measurement system analysis is discussed during higher level belt training. Congratulations on completing this part of your healthcare white belt. Before you head off though, let's briefly review what you've learned. Attributes and variables, two types of data. One we count and fits nicely into categories, the other we measure and is continuous. You've briefly seen the seven quality tools which are used to analyze data using visual representations. Also, think about the sources of variation. You'll need to understand where the major sources of variation are coming from to reduce the overall variation in your system. And lastly, I encourage you to share our website with others and consider attending one of our higher level belt programs to further your understanding of these tools as well as learning other valuable ones. Good luck with completing your healthcare white belt.